As we speak, AI is creating new millionaires every single day. And I'm not talking about the coding geniuses who have millions in funding. I'm talking about everyday people like me and you becoming AI millionaires from the ground up. No matter if they never coded a day in their life, no matter if they started working with AI a year ago, no matter what their background is. They can literally be from Mars, they're still millionaires. Knowing everything I do as someone who's made a lot of money building, selling, and teaching AI, I have decided to break down everything you need to become an AI millionaire in 2026. See, people might tell you to spend time on creating a course for AI creation, or spend time chasing the next shiny AI tool, or spend time building random AI apps and hope that one of them sticks. No, I'd focus on four specific strategies that are literally printing money right now, even if you're a beginner, or someone who's already earning $10,000 a month selling automation solutions. But here's the thing, there's one strategy at the end that I almost didn't include because it's so powerful that I'm literally using it right now to build a seven figure exit. And I was thinking about gatekeeping, but we never gatekeep on this channel. Now, by the end of this video, you have the exact blueprint I'd follow to turn AI into a million dollar business. Plus I'll reveal the one mistake that's costing most AI entrepreneurs six figures in potential revenue. And trust me, if my Indian mom found out I made mistakes worth $100,000, this will be my last YouTube video. With all that being said, there's one thing you and I can agree on. The AI market is exploding. We're talking about AI apps generating $4.5 billion in 2024 alone. That's a 130% increase from the previous year. And get this, AI companies are trading at an average revenue multiple of three to 20 X. That means if you build something making $50,000 a year, you could potentially sell for $150,000 or well over a million. That is a reality of where we are right now. And that leads us to strategy number one, building AI apps that can be resold to multiple clients. This is a holy grail because you build once, yet you sell many times. And right now, the demand for AI solutions is absolutely insane. Here's how this all works. Instead of building custom solutions for individual clients, you identify a common pain point across an entire industry or niche and build one AI solution that solves it for everyone. Here's a real example. Every restaurant owner struggles with managing reservations, handling no-shows, and optimizing table turnover. Instead of building a custom solution for one restaurant, you build one AI reservation management system that can be sold to hundreds of restaurants. And you only need a couple of clients to be making over $10,000 a month. I mean, think about it. If your AI agent can automatically confirm reservations, predict no-shows based on historical data, send reminders, and even dynamically adjust pricing based on demand, this is something that a lot of restaurants would want. And all you have to do is build this once, and you can sell it for $500 to $1,000 per month per restaurant. So if you get 100 restaurants, restaurants paying you 500 bucks a month, that's a $50,000 monthly recurring revenue model. And at current AI valuation multiples, that's over a million dollar business. But here's the key. You don't start by building the perfect solution. You start by validating the problem. I spent two weeks cold calling restaurant owners, even walking in to the restaurant, asking them about their biggest headaches. Make sure that the problem you are finding is actually their problem. Once I confirm that the problem I'm looking at is in fact a real problem that they're willing to pay for, then I'll build the MVP. And thanks to tools like Cursor AI and no-code platforms like NDN, you can build this entire system in probably under a week. It's actually really easy. I can think of exactly how to create it right now. The beauty of this model is scalability. Your customer acquisition cost stays pretty low because you're solving the same problem for everyone in the industry. And your development costs are all one time. Like you, you spend the time and potentially a little bit of money to build a solution in the beginning after that, you just sell it multiple times. Now, there is a specific way I choose which industry to target first, and it's based on a framework that took me from struggling to building anything profitable to generating pretty profitable agents within like a month. Now, before we go over that framework, it's important we talk about our second strategy, which is a high LTV AI agency approach. I know it's a lot of words, but it'll make sense. While everyone's racing to build apps, there's a less crowded but equally profitable path, and that's running an AI agency that maximizes lifetime value per client. This is is a huge point. See, most AI automation agencies are getting it wrong. They're charging one-time fees for AI implementations and then maybe a small retainer, which I consider not the smartest model. Here's what I do instead. I'd focus on enterprise clients, any client that has a medium to large size business and structural deals around ongoing AI transformations for the company, not one-off projects. Think about it. A company that implements AI isn't done after the first project. They need continuous work. They need other things automated, other operations. They need training. They need scaling. That's where the real money is. If you can land one mid-sized company that has 10 to 50 million in revenue and offer them AI transformation packages starting at, let's say, $20,000 or $30,000 a year, potentially even a month, that is when you're able to make six figures every single year from just one client. And you're not just 
implementing AI tools, you're also becoming their AI strategy partner. You're talking about quarterly business reviews. You're talking about tracking their finances and optimizing their revenue and growing their company and how AI can be used across their entire company. See, McKinsey found that companies investing in AI solutions typically see a 39% boost in revenue and a 45% increase in customer retention rates. The key is positioning yourself not as a service provider, but as a strategic partner. You're not selling them a project, you're selling them an entire transformation. And I mean, once you transform one department, let's say sales, you just transition to their marketing and their operations and their customer service. And every department that a company has is worth millions of dollars. So you have the potential to make over a million dollars from just a single client. And if you make only 100 or 200 or 300 grand, that's still a lot of money. But here's something else most people don't realize about this model. There's a specific type of company that's 10 times more likely to say yes to a $25,000 a month retainer than another company and has nothing to do with the size of the industry. It's actually about a timing and a specific trigger event that happens in their business cycle. I described this pattern after closing over 50 agency deals. And once you know what to look for, your close rate will go through the roof. The amount of companies I'll say yes to you is about it double. But in order for this to make sense, I have to talk about strategy number three. This third strategy is where things get really interesting. I call it the satisfaction play. Now here's how it works. You start as an agency, you build custom AI solutions for clients, but then you turn those solutions into SaaS products for the broader market. Now, let me paint you a picture. Let's say a law firm pays you $50,000 to build an AI contract analysis tool specifically for their needs. Okay, cool. Instead of walking away with just that $50,000, you take that same tool, generalize it slightly, and now you have an AI SaaS for law firms that you can sell to other law firms because if one law firm needs it, so do others. Suddenly, what was a one-time $50,000 project becomes a $500, $1,000 month SaaS that you can sell to hundreds of law firms. And your initial client literally funded the development of it. So there's no risk for you. This is exactly what I did with my shift booking agent. I built it for one hotel worker who paid me a couple thousand dollars. Then I realized a bunch of other workers have the same problem. So I built a more general solution and I resold it to the other workers for like 600 bucks a month. And I was able to scale it to $9,000 a month in total revenue. And the beauty of this approach is that your clients are literally funding your SaaS development. It's not like you're spending months creating a SaaS with no money. No, you're literally getting paid to build it and now you're just reselling it. And now you might be thinking, hmm, what did that first client get pretty mad because you're kind of sharing the sauce? Well, you can maintain a pretty good relationship with the original client because they're happy they got the custom solution that works perfectly for them. And now you're happy because you own an entire SaaS. And what you can do is you can give that initial client a cut of revenue per new client you bring on. Right, or you can give them a, a, a small discount on like a, a future project or work out some sort of deal so they're happy with it because you don't want to torch your first client, obviously. It's a pretty straightforward process. You build a custom solution, you get paid for it, and you satisfy and sell to the entire industry, literally. And now, the fourth strategy is probably the most accessible for most people watching this is using AI to sell high volume, easy to create digital products. What do I mean by this? I'm talking about website mockups, children books, ad creatives, logos, social media content, basically anything that can be designed or created with AI. Think about pictures, think about videos, whatever. You see with tools like Midjourney, Dolly, Claude, Nano Banana, Google Veo, you can create professional quality designs in mere seconds, not hours. A website mockup that maybe took a designer four or six hours to create, you can now generate 10 different variations of a site in like 20 minutes using my Google. Like, come on, that job is literally no longer needed. Then you have children book illustrations that would cost thousands to you know draw. You can now create an entire book in a weekend literally with one and it and flow. And now think about ad creatives for Facebook campaigns. You can generate hundreds of variations and A-B test everything by using Google Nano Banana to create your Facebook ad creatives. But with all this information, how can you really turn this into a million dollar business? Well, you don't compete on price, you compete on speed and volume. Instead of charging $500 for one website mockup, you charge $2,000 for 20 different variations delivered in 24 hours. Instead of one children's book for $5,000, you offer a children's book series of 10 books for $10,000 delivered in two weeks. So you don't position yourself as a designer, as someone who's designing. You're basically an AI power design factory. You create a ton of different creatives at scale. I create different service tiers. I'd say basic is like 24 hour delivery, 10 variations, premium is 12 hour delivery, 25 variations, 
variations. And the enterprise is like six hour delivery, 50 variations, unlimited revisions, dedicated account manager. You can make entire offers and charge 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand based on your client. And there's more, the designs that work the best for your clients, you could turn into templates and sell them as digital products on platforms like Etsy, Creative Market, or your own website. That Facebook ad creator you made for one client that earned them thousands of dollars, why don't you take out their branding and sell that ad as a template to hundreds of other businesses? See how you're kind of double, triple, quadruple monetizing your work? The scalability here is insane. You could literally process hundreds of design requests per week with the right AI workflows and a small team. There's absolutely no excuse that you're not making thousands of dollars right now. Now, remember that framework I mentioned earlier for choosing which industry to target? Here it is. I call it the pain payment population method. First is pain. The industry needs to have a problem that costs them real money, not just an inconvenience, but something that's actually hurting their bottom line. Second is payment. They need to have a history of paying for solutions. If an industry is known for being cheap or trying to do everything in-house, skip it. And third is population. There needs to be enough companies or individuals in this space that are willing to pay to really build a real business. Targeting a niche with only 50 potential customers is not going to make you a million dollars. Actually, with AI, it maybe could. And if you notice, our AI design media agency we kind of just created follows the exact framework I just mentioned. So that's the business you probably want to start after this video ends. But do not make the six figure mistakes that I talked about earlier. See, the trap that I mainly fall under that prevents me from making so much more money is perfectionism. I see so many people spend months building the perfect AI solution before they even talk to a single customer. In fact, I used to do this in the beginning. Luckily, I changed my ways because it will result in you wasting so much of your time. I mean, it's literally competitors that are selling imperfect solutions and making a ton of money because no software is even expected to work 100% of the time. So there's no reason you need to try to get your software to be that one. Just make sure your SaaS solves a real problem. You can always improve it once you get paying customers that are giving you feedback. I mean, when I launched my shift booking agent, it could only handle so many users. It kind of crashed. The UI was not the best and it still was making three to $4,000 a month because at the end of the day, it still solved the problem even though it wasn't the prettiest. Now, the secret fifth strategy that I talked about in the beginning of this video that is going to help me make a lot of money in the AI field and probably a lot of other people is AI info. This is essentially teaching others at a small scale how to build AI systems. So you're looking at communities like school, circle communities, discord communities that are just focused on educating the masses. These communities usually have like $50, $60 membership fees. And some of the top creators in the AI space are bringing hundreds of thousands of dollars through this model. And the cool part is when you get big client projects, your school community can essentially be the people helping you build this project for this client. You can find your top school members, hire them and create your own mini developer team. And everyone knows that creating a paid community in any space is one of the easiest ways to monetize an industry. Now I am growing my school actively, but I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is a whole different ball game. But if you are trying to start your own community, it's one of the easiest things to do because the AI market is literally the biggest opportunity we've seen in decades. AI apps are expected to surpass $150 billion of revenue by the end of the decade. Yet so many people are not acting on this. The difference between those who are going to make millions with AI and those who don't is not intelligence or connections, it's literally execution. If you want to see me build one of these many money-making AI systems from scratch, check out this entire video where I document the entire process.